Okay, I'm back, and I want to talk about some fifth scale servo options. Both of these servos are pretty much the same servo. I mean, I have the Primal RC 73 kilogram servo and the JX 70 kilogram servo. Although they uh, they supposedly have two different specs, these both are the same servo. The Primal RC servo was kind of hard to get. I mean, it sells out because a lot of people knew about it already. This one, on the other hand, I've been using this servo for literally years, on top of years. They both work off of a 2S battery if you want to, although some of the armors now, the both of the fifth scale armors now do have the 8.4 volt setting on the ESC that you can work with for both of these servos. And yes, they will run off of 8.4 volts, even though for the specs it's only for 7.2. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't matter. I mean, they both run off of 2S battery, and the 2S battery is 8.4 volts, so it doesn't matter. As for specs, they're both over, uh, uh, thousand inch ounces of torque and they are both around that one point I mean that point one five point one three speed yeah these two servos are awesome I mean they're easily the best bang for your buck when it comes to a uh, fifth scale servo for your giant truck that comes with uh, let's see, the Armor Outcast 8S right now, it comes with that 500 kilogram servo, and it's pretty fast on 8.4 volts, so, but torque-wise, yeah, it's not there. <laughs> this has twice the amount of torque that servo has, and it's the same speed, so, <laughs> yeah, when it comes to power, I mean, this one is around... 50 60 bucks whenever they have it this one is on amazon right now for 45 bucks so if you have an amazon prime account 45 bucks <laughs> jx servo i ran this thing in literally all of my one fifth scale cars except the two armors that i bought these this thing for but neither of these servos are waterproof they when you crack them open they do have this seal that uh, runs around and yeah, I've already been working on it since it has that coating on it. I've already put a coating of this stuff on it, which is more or less a um, must for these servos. You have to do it if you want them to last. Because water gets in them and standing water, even with the coating on it, standing water can short this stuff out. So... What I do is I crack the servo open, and yeah, I've, I've been on this one already, and yeah, it does not come with all that nice lube on there. It doesn't. Yeah, I like to put this stuff on it since it really, really sticks to the gears, and there's no contaminants. That the process of making this since it's dielectric there's no contaminants whatsoever in this grease that might even think of corroding this stuff yeah a lot of other grease who knows but this stuff will not have contaminants in it period and that's what i want i don't need my gear to get all corroded because i put some stupid lube on there that just might have some forest metal in it and all the stupid nonsense that otherwise would destroy your servos and gears and have them all corroded. So I've glopped that all on there and oh, that one's ready to go. Pretty much just ready to close up. So I'm going to leave this one alone and tackle the one that I didn't do all that to. So when you crack it open, yeah, now it wants to get stuck. It's pretty much bare. Yeah, this is the this is what you get. You get no grease, no nothing. 
And there's a baron inside of there, and it doesn't have anything on it, so. Yeah, I lubed that up. <laughs> yeah, get that grease all down in the baron so that there's no way water can get in there. Yeah, that's good. Oh, boy. And leave that alone. And then you can go to town on your gears. Yeah, I just drop a bead. And I use these cheap brushes. Yeah, you can get those off of Amazon, too. <laughs> Pack of 10. And you can get, a, like, hundreds of those stupid things for next to nothing. Yeah, I think I got, like, a pack of 100 for, like... No, it was more than that. It was a, it was a lot of stupid brushes. For next to nothing, I mean, seriously, Amazon. And you need these brushes for something else too that I, about that I'm about to get to. So, I'm moving up the gears. Just gum it all in there. It really doesn't matter how, as long as everything's covered. Oh boy. Yeah, you gotta love messing around with this stuff. And since it's so gummy like this, it easily sticks to it. And these gears aren't moving like crazy, so the, it's just not gonna go to town on and get all over the gear case and all that nonsense like normal lube would, even with regular normal lube that'll happen too. Yeah, I like my gears really lube, even though it really isn't that, that important that they're full of lube, but more lube, the better. As long as it's not completely gunked up to the point to where you just have the lube coming out the damn thing. Why are you trying to close it up? Okay, now... The main point of this stupid video is the inside of the servo. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, I have a coating on it. A coating of this. And I already put a coating of it on there already. This is silicone conformal coating. And you need this stuff on your servo. Really. If you don't put it on there water will get inside of it because water gets where water gets and it will ruin your poor expensive servo even though these really aren't expensive at all but with your brush okay i'm gonna have to go in and just get that back on there so i can start to close it up and i'm not gonna do it since i've already done it but you need a nice long brush because this servo, you can try to take it apart, but why? <laughs> this motor is definitely in there. And sometimes you can actually see that they might have glued the motor down, but this one is pretty much just held in place, in place by friction. So you wanna get a nice amount of this on your brush and get it all in there and just Dab it up, get a nice coat, and make sure all of it's covered. You don't have to cover the the capacitor right there. You don't really need to do that. Just the sides of it at the base. All up in there. As you can see, yeah, I have about three coats on this side, three on this side. Yeah, this side is real easy. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need any kind of stupid brush to do that. Now, this thing does come with two brushes, two little brushes that, yeah, you might as well just go and use your own. And this is a, a new bottle with a different cap. The one before it had the brush built into the cap, 
but this one is this child safety whatever. They're always outthinking themselves sometimes. So, yeah. Once you get all that done, you want to let it dry for a good maybe two to three minutes. Get it all tacky and then put down another coat. Let that dry two to three minutes. And this stuff really dries fast. I mean, I did this whole side, both sides, and three coats, ten minutes, done. And, yeah, it, it dries real fast, so... Three coats. Yeah, I've seen people put down so much of that that they have literally mounds of the stuff just covering the whole thing. It doesn't really need all of that. Yeah, so, and then you can close it all back up. Man. But, seriously. When I... I've been using this for ages now, and when I got this, it looked obviously it looked kind of familiar i mean when it comes down to it they even have the same damn case oh god they have the same motor even the circuit layout is exactly the same on the pcb you can't get any more similar than that I mean, you. How else can I say that this these two are the two are the same servo? So, yeah, they're the same servo. This option is fine if you don't have an Amazon Prime account. <laughs> but if you have an Amazon Prime account, <laughs> forty five bucks get you the JX servo, <laughs> and this one is sold out right now. So, good luck trying to get it. <laughs> And actually, I haven't ever seen this one sell out. I mean, I guess it's just enough of those to go around <laughs> that I haven't bought them all yet. Even though I do have a lot of fifth scale cars. And I have like, I think I have like three or four of these that I haven't even used yet. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the car to come out <laughs> to put it in. <laughs> since I know that crappy fifth scale stuff right now is going to have spectrum in it or some other nasty crap from red cat or what what not and all of nonsense that need to be replaced but yeah two really awesome fifth scale servos for your buck they're fast they're torquey and they can push pretty much anything i mean they use this as the brake servo in the Raminator and I think they used two of them for the tires I mean yeah for the wheels <laughs> and those wheels are freaking the size of my head so <laughs> literally if they're gonna move something that big <laughs> you know it's gonna be able to move the little wheels you'd be putting on the Cratons and the Outcasts and, and your DBXLs and all the other good stuff and the Bajas it's definitely gonna move those <laughs> So, yeah, let me go on and bolt these bad boys back up. And I got one to put in my Outcast since then. Yeah. I'm, I mean, the stock servo in that is decent, but I'm done with decent. Yeah, I done broken that thing three times already in, in, the, in my first three runs. And <sighs> it only takes breaking your car so much before you start wanting to upgrade it and turn it into complete beefcake. So I will leave the video at that and get back to fixing on the outcast.